Greetings, friends. I'm Fwap, and this is a competitive draft of Hex. Just trying it out. Figured you guys might want to see it. We grabbed one card, Replica Reinforcements. Um, we're going to go over more of what's going on here later. Hmm. Right now, we are trying to pick up. I'm not the best drafter. But we're trying to pick up some decent cards. And I haven't actually seen the Armies of Myth. <clears throat> Uh, cards at all yet so really just because I get a free draft every week for the rest of my life uh, because I kickstartered at a high level uh, this is much like Magic the Gathering if you've never played uh, it's a digital only card game called Hex TCG the collectible game okay that's pretty brutal what a demolition Target champion, oh, okay, I see. It's nice and efficient. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Red is often a good color to play. Uh, blue and red would be nice. Someone's gonna pass me this. Seven mana for a six, four with two, that gives me two demolitions in my hand. <laughs> It's pretty good. Plus, it's a dwarf and a robot, which are commonly good cards. Um, so, obviously, we're trying to follow the bomb rules. Uh, you know, the bread, I forget, the, the bread mnemonic for drafting, and that is uh, bomb. Yeah, we'll see. I forget what they all are. <laughs> um, but we want. Interesting. What is a phantom? One one flight. Okay. <clears throat> shift. I don't know what shift means. Two three one one that possibly has speed. Okay. That looks fine to me. We're focusing on um, <clears throat> if we can't oh, quick troop. That's pretty good. 2 1 for 2 is fine. Ember tears. We could slowly work them down. Two for zero three. That's pretty solid, really. <coughs> and nice and cheap. 3 2 flight, though. And it's quick. I don't think I can say no to these. Uh, okay, I'm actually going to take... Let's take Smirking Trickster. Quick Troops are nice for the block trade, plus it'll give me a look at his hand. Can you play a card with cost? Six, is that what that says? Cost five or greater, deal two damage target champion or troop. Uh, there could be better. Plus two, plus zero, and swift strike is going to give you an excellent chance of killing something. Crush and one shot seven, this gets plus two, plus two. So five for a four, three that you can upgrade later if you have the mana sitting around. Um, 
with cost five or greater. We just don't want that many five or greater cost cards in our our hands. So you want to go creature heavy. <clears throat> if I recall correctly, you want bombs, removal, um, the R, E, what are E's? Wind speaker, green or white. <clears throat> Those are some good abilities and it's cheap, but Exhaust a ready trigger. Exhaust up to two target troops they can't ready during the controller's next ready step. Tangling webs is an excellent kind of removal. Four mana, draw two cards. Target champion or troop for each troop you control. That's expensive though. Deal two damage target troop. You control a card with cost five or greater. Deal additional three to that troop. Oh, we're taking that. <coughs> Bomb removal. Mm, what is the E? Anyway, I'm going to bumble through this for you. Gain a threshold of your choice. Spider nest, that seems pretty awesome. Creates a couple little spiderling eggs and puts them in our deck whenever this thing screws up. When this attacks, gain one zero. So this gives me mana when it attacks, which is pretty awesome. We want this Wolvier Bashir. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're not going to get around to any of these uh, other ones. <clears throat> uh, most of these are too expensive. We want nice, cheap creatures for most of our deck. It's going to consist of hopefully 18 creatures, five or so spells, and 17. Uh, manas, I mean resources. Okay, we'll take Suffocate. <clears throat> four mana counterspell may be hard to use, we'll see. But it does create spiderlings for me, which is pretty nice. Giant spiders, granite giant. Volley of arrows. I'll take the Dead Eye Ripper. Just so we can get a jump on our mana curve. And if this tournament doesn't turn out well, eh, it's okay. It was free. Three for two. We'll just go with another Dead Eye Ripper. We'll focus on cheap red and a mix of blue cards. Plus, we're getting past a lot of nice red cards, which is good. <clears throat> uh, this speaks well of the person to our left. Probably will continue to pass us good red cards, decent blue cards from what I saw. The rare that we got in our first pack was this replica. Create a replica of troops you control, and each troop you control that shares a trait with it, and put those in your hand. Um, Emberly Four Dancer, that's fine. I thought about getting one of those to begin with. And then this is just trash from the last pick. Transform target troop into a Monument of the Martyr. Troops you control have plus one, plus one. When a spider enters play under your control, you may draw a card. We seem to have been shifted towards these spider things. Uh, someone's certainly going white, and this martyr card is going to be... I almost want to snag it to keep someone else from getting it, but uh, I think... I think the arachnomancer is what we're going to have to...
gonna have to take because we have now quite a few blue spider cards spiderling egg when this enters your hand or graveyard put the top card of your deck into that zone void this a random opposing champion creates a spiraling and puts it into play. Wait, I'm so confused. Why is that good? Okay, let's see what we got here. Here's a rare, so that someone passed up. Swift Strike opposing non combat damage is reduced by one. I guess that's for everyone. Oculus of Azathoth. This looks cool, even if I didn't already have blue. Flight, while this is ready, it has spell shield. Can't be targeted until it's exhausted, basically. And <clears throat> I think some of this other blue stuff is going to come back around. So let's go ahead and grab it. A 4-4 uh, four, four flight with spell shield is not too bad. Okay, let's look again at Spider Nest. Oh, okay, here it goes. It's because this gums up their deck with spiderling eggs the more they use this troop. Okay, that's why it sucks. And then it gives me spiders whenever they draw or discard to their graveyard one of these spider eggs. So um, <clears throat> we punish them for using that creature. Abominate, nice. All right, what's this? Slaughter Gears Innovation. Basic action, socketable major, transform target artifact you control or in your hand into a War Hulk with this action's gem. So we can put a gem in it. We can make a War Hulk, which is 5-5. Five, five. We can turn an artifact into it, of which we have absolutely zero artifacts. Uh, but that is cool and rare, and it might be worth picking up just because. <coughs> this Pyro Knight increases everyone's attack. This tireless researcher, every time it readies, we draw a card. That's like untapping. <clears throat> For attack. Slotted Gear's innovation is not going to rock it for us. Uh, it's tempting to pick it up, but there are some decent cards here. Let's go ahead and take this tireless researcher. The Pyro Knight is a tempting target. I like how tough the Researcher is. Can resist those two damage burns. Scarless Raider and put it into play. 1-1 one, one speed. Basic one shot for 1-3-2 one, Veteran Raider. Uh, that's pretty good. Suffocate, of course, creates more Spiderling things, which is something we do. Spider's Nest is cheap and creates those eggs. <coughs> I assume these blue ones will get it passed back to us. Uh, Scrap Tooth Cackler, 4-1. Let's take the Veteran Raider. It'll give us more creatures, which should combo well with... Uh, uh, maybe nothing in particular. I guess I'm slowing everything down by waiting. When opposing champions dealt damage, bear a card from target deck for each damage dealt lame. Exhaust target opposing troop. It gets at the start of the turn. Exhaust this. Then create a spiraling egg and put it into your deck. Okay, Incubation Webs is going to play along well with us. And we'll take it. Looks like we're going blue spiders. <clears throat> now, one of the problems is that these are going to take up all of our spells, these spidery things. Oh, but we shall see. I forgot they were slowing everyone else down by not quick selecting our troops. Pride's fall, I'm sure your troop with Power defense for more. Cripple. Target troop gets minus four. Kind of expensive. Thunderfield Enchanter. Six for a four five. That is expensive. Scrap tooth cackler. Um, three mana for a four one. Sure, we can do something with that, most likely. This shift, I assume what shift does, it actually passes the ability to someone else uh, for one mana. Like, this gives speed to someone. 
Or maybe it has speed and you can transfer that to another creature for one and then you can transfer it from there. Which is an interesting idea. Target troop gets, at the end of your turn, a random opposing champion gains control of this. Okay. So this could let you pass back and forth some creature. Rage one, speed. This thing is brutal. Um... I'd rather collect cheap creatures, especially ones with three health. Uh, we now have... Does it not tell you how many of these you have? Oh, I see. For three, we can get two one one speed raiders, or for four, we can get plus one plus zero for everything. Target troop gets flight and spell shield this turn. That's pretty good. Let's stick to cheap stuff. Here we go, that's what I should be looking at. Scorch, deal one damage, target champion, or troop. Uh, that's nice, it's because it's free. Lunge plus two and swift strike this turn. That's gonna, that's gonna be excellent. For all the little creatures we have that we can attack with, including the spiders, lunge could make them unexpectedly deadly to a blocker. Uh, as well as our Wolvier. Target troop gets minus one, put it into its controller's hand. Throwback is pretty darn good. Um, but I think... Yeah, let's go ahead and take that. Sword play, it's fine. So there is one more draft round. Remember, we're receiving cards from the person on our right, I believe, or at least the opposite side, the opposite direction we were getting them from. Oculus of Azathoth. Azathoth being the great old one, I assume, of the Hex world. Vandalize, destroy target artifact. 1-1 one, one junk robot. We'll take Vandalize. We might be able to put it in against an artifact heavy deck. Quite potent. Fam Pegasus, sacrifice. This gets flight. Uh -huh. Return to soil, sure. Cry of Adamant. Attacking troops get plus two, plus two this turn. All right. Fifth book of Daharsis. At the start of each opposing champion's turn, if that champion has 20 more cards in their graveyard, this deals one damage to them. Search for your champion deck for up to three cards and bury them. Okay, not the time. Bomb right, one, two, and it deals one damage to things. That is pretty awesome. Uh, kind of expensive. Very likely to get crushed. Incubation webs. It's going to lock down your opponent and fill their deck with spiderlings. Uh, since that's something we're doing, we're going to do it hard. Five for a five two socketable major with a minor gem. It gets plus one plus one, so it's six three for five with a minor gem. Okay. When this enters play, the next action in your deck gets draw a card. Cheapness versus punch. Um, we've already got quite a few expensive things, but socketable cards are intense, uh, intensely good because you can modify them with all sorts of 
stuff. The likes of which I'm actually not terribly familiar with at the moment. I guess I can't look at the sockets right now. Uh, but with blue, we can probably make it untargetable, which means that as a 6-3, it will be spell shielded, I hope. Well, this is socketed with a minor gem. This is plus one, plus one. Okay. So we could play that anytime. Flight and spell shield. Staggering blast. While attacking, this has swift strike. That's pretty good. Uh, staggering Blast. I wanted to get some of these because it can cause all enemy troops to not be able to block. Alright, we already passed up on one of those. Suffocate. We have one. This will stuff their deck full of spiderlings. Fiery Indignation. We have one of those. We're going to want the other one, and we're going to hope that that Rune Web Infiltrator comes back around. Burns whenever you play expensive cards. Skewer, interesting. Skewer is nice because you can burn a creature and then if it only has one defense you hit the champion with it as well. Alright, we'll take that. <clears throat> I think we got a decent curve here. We're looking alright. I've seen worse. I've done worse. Suffocate. Wolvier and Basher. Plus one, plus one. Okay, it's cheap. Let's take this. <coughs> Maybe another Suffocate is what I should get, but the counter spells are notoriously difficult to use in draft tournaments. Thanks to the, the need to keep a lot of mana open, which means you're not doing other useful stuff with it. Go with the Thunderfield Seer. Get some cheapness up in here. This will let us draw a card on our next action. Um, so it'd be good to focus on actions. Which probably isn't hard with blue and red cards everywhere. Volley of arrows, not looking too bad. Let's go with the pyronite. Maybe we'll get another staggering thing. Ashwood soloist. Plus one um, resource. So a temporary resource, Folly of Arrows, Dead Eye Ripper, Swordplay, another Thunderfield Seer, so we have some blue things we could cast on the first turn. Remember our deck will be 40 cards, and we'll start with 7 of them, which means 
that we have approximately a one in six chance of pulling out whatever we just um, any given card flight and spell shield this turn this could save our butts ember tears could burn down our enemy volley of arrows fine I'll take it Choices are becoming simple here. Vandoy Spider's Nest. Take another one of those. All right. So here we go. We have to build our deck next. Here. All right, we have 15 minutes to build our deck. Uh, I'm going to be back uh, in a new video. Farewell, and until next time, remember that it's all downhill from here. <laughs>